We're gonna start here on our mats. We're gonna come into our ballet first position. So instead of the toes forward, you're just gonna take a little bend in the knees and just see how far your toes go out. Never force it or anything like that, okay? So just a nice, easy first position. We're gonna take a few plies just right here. Now, a plie is much different than a squat, okay? So we're in a nice straight line. Head is over shoulders, over hips, over knees, over heels. So it's one straight line, like you're going up and down a wall. Good, so now we're gonna just add the arms up and lower, up and lower. Good, really nice, smooth movements through the arms. Good, so make sure they're just nice and easy, right? You don't wanna have any sort of tension, just flowing through the wind. We're gonna hold this plie, and we're gonna add a little side bend Stand up, side bend the other way, and up, just like that. Bending through the legs and up. Thinking about your posture, right? You always think of ballerinas as really good posture, right? That's because we would work so much on just standing. <laughs> it really takes a lot of energy to stand and hold our body up, right? Good, reach and up and reach and up. Two more, just like this. Two and one. Good, now we're gonna take it all the way forward and up. So I'm adding a little bit of a forward fold there. A little forward curve and up. Two more, just like that. Squeeze your glutes underneath you for some more stability. Last one, plie and all the way around. And then come into your demi plie right here. We're gonna lift one heel up, lower, other heel, and lower. Good, up and up. Really great stretches for the ankles and the feet. Nice, so just hold the arms here. If you notice, it's like I'm hugging a big beach ball. Elbows are lifted, fingers are soft. Up and up, good, for four, and three, and two, and one. Hold your demi plie. Squeeze your glutes, open up the thighs here. Excellent, rotate the hips. Now let's see if we can lift both heels up. Lower the heels down, there we go. Lift up, but I'm not lifting my body up, right? I'm just pushing the heels out. Good, two, and press ribs down. One, hold it here, can you balance? I know those ankles might be a little wobbly. Remember you're on the big toe, hold for three. Hold for two, you've got this one and rest, nice. So we're gonna keep moving in the standing position. We're gonna take the legs a little bit wider, reach the arms forward, and then we're gonna come all the way up into a parallel passe position. Reach and passe, good. Reach 10 times like that, 10 and nine and eight, good. Seven, and up, six. So now we really are shooting the butt back. Five, you're gonna feel the heart rate coming up. Four, and up, three, get as low as you can. And two, and one, and hold it here. So now we're in a parallel passe. My knee, toe is up towards my knee. Now we're gonna turn it out into a nice open passe. Turn it in, 10 times like that. You're gonna feel the glutes work. Excellently rotate that right there. Nine and eight, Ooh. seven. The toe's barely touching the knee. So you're not resting like this, okay? Make sure that toe is off of the knee. Four, three, elbows lifted, two, and one. Right from here, we're gonna take this leg behind us into an attitude position. So you're just lifting the leg up. I'm gonna turn so you can see me. And we're just gonna lift right here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna lower into a fourth position on our back toe and then lift back up into that attitude. So just adding that little plie here and up 10 times. 10, and up, nine, up. If it's too much with the arm, just keep it right here. You can do that as well. But staying really centered here in the core, 
using the front leg, you're gonna notice the heart rate comes up. This is a great way, low impact way to get your heart rate at five and four, good, three and two and one. Hold it out there, hold that leg. Now we're gonna extend it long. Good, reach, reach, reach to the arabesque or like a warrior three. We're gonna lower back into that lunge. This little fourth position plie is what we call it in ballet. And then we're gonna lift the leg up and then back into the lunge. 10 and up, nine and up. So many muscles working here. Eight and up, ribs in. Good, seven and up. Do you feel it? I'm sure you do. <laughs> and four, just moving gracefully through your body. It's very difficult to move gracefully. So don't underestimate it. Two and one. We're gonna hold the leg up there, hold the leg. And just tap the leg down, stay exactly where you are, flat back and lift. Now we're gonna add the arms. We're gonna lift 10 and nine, Woo. eight, seven, six, five, I know, four, lower the chest down a little bit lower, three, two, and one. All right, pretty challenging, right? I know, sorry, nice and gentle. And then we really bumped it up, okay. So now we're gonna go right into the other side. Here we go, 10 and up, nine and up, eight. So when you come to the center, feel like everything kind of comes right into the center, right? So everything comes in, exhale, ribs go in. Good, four and three and two and one. We're gonna hold it here. Whew. It's all right if you lose your balance. Elbows are lifted, shoulders are down, open and close. Like a door hinging, opening and closing. So I want you to really squeeze the glutes on the back. Good, seven, six, bellies in, ribs down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Keep that leg turned out, and I'm gonna just turn this way so you can see me. So as if I was right here, and I'm just gonna lift the leg up, just like that, in an attitude. Knee is down, toe is up. Belly in for 10, nine, point the toes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna go into that fourth position plie. My front foot is slightly turned out. Hips are in one direction. And then lift, 10 and nine. It doesn't have to be a super deep plie here. Just a little bend, stay on top of the hips. Use your core and five, good. Four and three Woo. and two and one. Hold it there. Now straighten out that leg, lower the chest down. Nice. So now we're going to tap the leg down and lift. We're gonna reach the arms as we tap and reach the arms back as we lift. Here we go, 10 times, 10 and up. Nine and up. Eight, Whew. seven, I know, this is it. Six and five. You're getting stronger, four, three, and two, and one, and release. Nice job. Okay, we're going to walk it out here with our legs in an attitude position. So they're turned out just like this. So I just want you to march, loosen up those hips, let the breath calm down. Also works the core, good. So we're lifting, lifting, keep the chest tall. Bring the arms up overhead and lift, lift, lift. 
Lift now. If you'd like to make it a little bit more challenging, get that heart rate up, we're gonna add little jumps like this, okay? So join me doing that right here. Up, 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 good. Whew. Too much with the arms, just take the arms down, hold them here. Little ballet runs, I like to call them. Good, up, 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 up. Light on the toes. Lift the inner heel up, like you're showing someone the bottom of your foot. That's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Oh, oh man. Okay, we're gonna come down to our mats now shifting gears a little bit to work on our core. So let's come onto our backs. We're gonna pull everything in, and we're gonna start with one of my favorite moves from ballet, where we turn the legs out, legs are straight up, and we're gonna cross, cross, open the legs, cross, cross, and open, just like that. Good, so you can keep the head on the mat, or if you'd like to bring the head up, Gonna be a little more challenging adding the weight of the head using the core a bit more here so the goal here is to keep the legs straight draw the ribs down lower belly squeezes in pelvic floor squeezes in and up good last five and four three and two and one good bring everything in towards the center we're gonna pull up, grab the back of the legs, and we're gonna extend one at a time, just like this. Reach and reach. Every time you grab the back of the leg, I want you to lift higher. Lift higher. There you go. For 10, nine, eight, point the toes, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, beautiful. Now we're gonna extend both legs at the same time. Extend, pull it in right here. Again, readjust, shoulders down. Reach and readjust. Reach, good. I'm sure you're feeling this for sure. Even the neck muscles, right? The neck muscles work a lot, which is so good for your posture. Now, if you'd like to add on, you can take the arms up overhead and then bring it in. Five like this, five and up. Four, ribs are down. Three and in and two. That's it. And one and up. Let the head come down for a moment. We're gonna keep going with our core. Now we're gonna place the hands underneath the hips and we're gonna take the legs. I want you to just go like this. Get into the motion of this little crisscrossing position. Point the toes, and they cross in front and back, front and back. Great, now from there, we're gonna add on. Lower the legs all the way down, and then lift the legs all the way up. Working the core and the legs at the same time. Staying with those nice, beautiful dancer feet. Pointing the toes, crisscrossing the legs, and you can take up the speed of the crisscross. So I want you to think of the ankles crossing over. Cross, 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 cross. Little beats, cross, cross, cross. If it's too much with the head, you can keep the head down or you can try, see what it feels like to put the hands behind the head. That's gonna put more pressure in the abs. Whew. I'm getting out of breath, can you tell? Up, nice, two more. We've got this last one, and all the way up. Ooh, man. Oh, core is just a forever thing that's gonna, that's challenging, right? All right, lift on up. Now we're gonna start with straight legs. Pull the leg in towards your face here. Little pulses, pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse. Switch, pulse, pulse switch nice draw the shoulders down lower belly squeezes in switch switch and 
pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse, switch. Good, for 10, nine, let's go a little faster. No more pulses, just a single leg in. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, place the hands behind the head. We're not done yet. Have the feet in a nice little turned out diamond position. We're gonna tap the toes and lift. If this is too much, just do single legs here like this. Okay, we're gonna do, pick one, either single legs or double legs. 10 times, just like this, 10 and up. Watch your belly, press it down and up. Make sure that the lower back doesn't come undone like this. So everything stays glued in. Good, seven, lower belly down. Six, elbows are wide, ribs are in. Exhale, four, inhale, three. Make sure you're breathing. I need to remind myself as well, two and one. Last thing here, I know, we're going forever on these abs. Here we go, we're gonna do a little twist, and twist, and twist, and twist. Beautiful, for 10, and whew, nine. Feel those inner thighs, eight, feels good, and seven, oh man, six, five, keep going, you're getting stronger, four, three, and two, and one, Whew. all right, okay, that was a lot of core, right? You ready to move on to some legs? Okay, I am. So we're gonna go into pretzel, one of my favorite dance ballet inspired type moves. So the leg is behind, and we're just gonna lift up right from there. So you might need a block or something to kind of hold yourself up, but you're gonna just lift the leg up off of the floor. The goal is to get the knee behind you, not just right here on the side, okay? So it's not side, it's gotta be back there, okay? So lift, lower, lift, lower. 10 times like that, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna just do little kicks back. Little kick for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, now we're gonna swing this leg around all the way to the front, and then we're gonna swing it around and extend back straight leg. Good, so up and forward like that. So the chest is leaning forward and then the chest is leaning back. We can add some arms if you'd like to make it more challenging. Good. Nine. And reach. Eight. And reach. Good. Seven. This one feels really good because it not only opens and mobilizes your hips, if you're someone who's a little tight there, but it really strengthens it as well because sometimes we actually get tightness from a lack of strength which sounds backwards, but it's true. So this really helps to strengthen all of that. Four and up, three and up. Good, two and up and one and up. Nice, so now we're gonna take that leg behind. So it's kind of like at an angle there. And then we're going to take it all the way up here like this. So we're gonna extend and up. Extend and up, just like that. Here we go, 10 times and 10 and up, nine and up. So what I'm looking for here is a long line, toes to fingers, eight. Stretch yourself here, seven and six. Whew. Everything's working, five and four, three, and two, and one. Hold it here, lower down onto the elbow. Now we're going to just swing the leg front and swing it back 10 times. Good, 10, and reach. Nine, 
and reach. Eight, keep the leg strong and long. Seven and six and five. Beautiful, keep going. Four and three and two and one. Nice, and then just keep the leg out to the side. Little lifts up. Ooh, here we go. This is it's a toughy one. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7. You're going to feel the abs work as well. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's take a little butterfly stretch because I think that's going to really help. Oh, man. Ooh. Hurts so good, right? Oh, man. I definitely feel that. <sighs> take a nice big deep breath. Now you have an idea of what's coming up on the other side. <laughs> Lucky us. We have two beautiful legs, right? Okay, so we're going to lift up that back leg 10 times. Here we go. Make sure that it's a little bit behind you. 10 Nine, ribs are down. Eight, seven, so work on your posture here. Think of lengthening up through your back. If you start to get tired in your back, that's actually a really good sign. That means you're working those back muscles and maybe they're a little weak, right? Because you tend to be here, rounded shoulders. Open up those shoulders, good. Four, three, two, one. Now let's do little kicks here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, now we're gonna extend all the way back and we're gonna swing it around to the front, just like that. So be lifted here, really tall, like a tall, beautiful ballerina. Lift elbows, frame your face. Nice, and then shoot all the way back as far as you can. Just point the toe. Nice, here we go, 10 and Nine, and good. Eight, seven, try to lift up tall. From the belly button right here, I'm trying to lift myself up. Like imagine someone literally has two hands here and they're lifting you up, 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 up. Good. Five, and up, and four, and up. Whew three, almost there, we're working our core, working our hips, legs, two, such good posture as well, and one, and up, good, let's kick it back out there again, this time we're gonna reach and come all the way up for 10. So I'm extending at this angle here with my upper body, nine, and eight, lifting the knee up, strengthening the hip flexors, seven, and up, I'm shaking, six, and five, Whew. almost there, four, you're doing awesome, three, and two, and one, hold it there, now place the elbow down, we're gonna reach it forward, and reach it all the way back, again, that line right here, squeeze the glutes in the back, and then reach it forward for 10, and swing, Nine, hold onto the ribs. The abs are working a ton, even in this leg exercise. Six, see how long you can get through fingers and toes. Four, and whew, three, and two, and one. Okay, we've got our finisher here. Remember what it is. Shoulders down. Let's go for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six. We're moving on to arms after this. Four, no more legs. Three, two, and one. Oh man, so good, right? Uh, probably gonna be sore tomorrow. Sorry, I'm not sorry. <laughs> I love being sore. Okay, so let's move quickly into our arms. So lift up here, we're gonna come into a tricep dip. 
as we pull the knee in towards our chest, just like this. Good, so pulse down and down. Little marches with the feet. Feel those triceps work. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good, lift the chest up. You're doing awesome. This has been a tough one. Here we go, 10 more just like this. 10 and nine, eight, seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here, little pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we've got one last thing here. This is it. We're gonna do tricep push-ups this way now. Lower down and lift just like that. Here we go. 10 times, you've got this. Shoulders down, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Nine, eight, seven. Go as far as you can. These are hard. Six, five, elbow squeeze in. Four, three, I'm shaking. This is it. Two and one. Oh man, you made it to your cool down. Amazing, amazing work. Let's take a few stretches together to close out our class. Whew. Let's take the foot in with the other leg out, lift up, exhale, reach forward. Wow, we did so many different things for our body. And that's what it's about. It's about showing up and just being open to what could happen, right? I've noticed that whenever I, let's switch sides, whenever I stay open, it's crazy the kinds of things that just show up, that, that you become available to, right? Whenever you drop the resistance, you really tap into what's possible for you. You tap into the well of wisdom and abundance that's within you. So I really believe that the only thing that's stopping us from getting what we want is ourselves. And when you actually give yourself permission to allow, allow yourself to let go, allow yourself to be happy, to be positive, then it's easy. It's not about getting something to be happy. It's actually about just releasing the resistance and knowing that you're just deserving, so deserving of that happiness and that positivity no matter what, and you get to just allow, finally allow it all to come in. And when you show up to a workout like that, when you're just open, open to what's possible for you, it's, the possibilities are just endless. Good, so you show up just open and ready to take on the challenge, and maybe you did better than you thought, or maybe you feel like you did worse than you thought, and it doesn't really matter at all. What matters is, that you did something for your body. Okay, let's take a pigeon pose on the other side. <sighs> I'm so, so proud of you. Please let me know if you are sore the next day. I love hearing that. Send me a DM or if you just were burning and I love hearing that from you as well. So message me on Instagram, Action Jacqueline. All right, guys, love you all so, so much. Great job today, that was challenging, but it was my pleasure to be your teacher today. Great work. I'm Action Jacqueline. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment below, let me know how you liked it, and definitely go check out all the other amazing yoga, Pilates, bar classes I have here for you. All right, see you in the next workout. Bye.